Hello guys, this is Sayed Muhammad Hokas. The topic which I'm going to discuss today is related to the drainage vent pipe sizing. So there I have an Excel sheet as you can see here and these are the tables which I'm going to use for drainage vent pipe sizing. So I'm going to discuss two examples here. This is the first example and this is the second example. So in the first example, you can see that we have uh, individual vent pipes which will do the sizing and in the second example this is the second example you can see here here if you see that we have the vent stacks vent stacks that is a b c and d that are connected to the common vent header this is our common vent header uh, at the top of the vent stacks and then extended uh, through the roof at one point so this is the second example so in first example uh, if you have noticed that uh, this is the same example which I had used during the drainage uh, soil stack pipe sizing. If you have not seen that video, I will give the link in the description below. You can watch it because uh, this uh, soil uh, this wind stack pipe size is related to the soil stack pipe size. So you must watch that video. And uh, if you see that here, we have a uh, wind stack that is represented by section B vent stack is represented by section B and you can see that this is the dashed line representing the vent pipe and this is our soil stack is represented by A so this is our second vent pipe you can see here represented by F in the dash lines and uh, this E is basically representing the soil stack so when you are doing the uh, vent pipe sizing three things should be known first is the soil stack pipe size second is the drainage fixer units connected to that soil stack pipe and third is the developed length so these three things should be known before doing the vent pipe size calculation or before getting the vent pipe size so what is developed length in here so you need to understand the developed length first so develop length is basically the length of the vent stack is measured from the point of connection to the drainage system at its base point. So this is the base point from here to the point of discharge at the outlet above roof. So from the base point of the drainage system to the point of discharge at the roof level. So this is our high roof level and this is our low roof level. Six, six story you can see that we have a low roof level in here. So from this base point of the uh, drainage system to the top of the roof level, this is representing the developed length. Before starting the vent pipe sizing, there is one announcement about the channel membership. If you join my channel membership, you can get access to all Excel sheets, relevant softwares and carrier air conditioning design handbook. So basically the membership on my channel has three levels. Membership link I will give in the video description or you can go to my channel and click the join button. So let's start the pipe sizing for with the first example. So this is for the first example, you can see that the section B here, as I said that uh, vent stack is represented by section B. So I said that three things should be known to get the vent pipe size. So first is you have to check the soil stack pipe size so i'm not gonna discuss the soil stack pipe size how did we get this one so for that purpose you should go for drainage system design or drainage pipe sizing video i will give the link in the description below just to save the time so i will proceed uh, to the next step that the connected drainage fixture units so you can see that total uh, connected drainage fixture units is how much 90 70 120 and 50 so we have a total four branches here that is 90, 70, 120 and 50, total 330. So up till this point we have 330 fixture units connected here. So we write here 330 fixture units and the develop length which I said that from the base point. So we are talking about this vent pipe. So develop length is from the base point to the top of the roof level. So you can see that 10, 10 feet, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 and 55. So develop length is 55 feet. 
So now we have to check the vent pipe size here. How much is the vent pipe size connected to the vent stack having connected to the uh, soil stack having size 5 inches. So we know that uh, uh, soil stack pipe size is 5 inches. Develop length is 55 and connected drainage fixed units are 330. So we're going to use this table 9-1. We said that uh, stack soil stack pipe size is 5 inches, 5 inches, and uh, 330 uh, fixture units. So 330 fixture units is in between 200 and 500. So we'll go for 500 higher value. And uh, so before going this table, these uh, these uh, pipe sizes one quarter, one half, two inches. These are basically vent pipe sizes. These are the connected drainage fixture units and this is the soil stack pipe size and in between we have these uh, develop lengths these are the develop lengths so we know that 5 inch pipe size soil stack pipe size and uh, 330 fixture unit will go for 500 and develop length is how much 55 so 55 is in between 30 and 70 will go for higher value 70 so 70 you will check the pipe size is 3 inches so vent stack pipe size is 3 inches. So we got 3 inch pipe size in here. So same way you have to check for the second one. That is uh, second stack pipe is represented by F. You can see in here. So how many branches are connected to this uh, stack F. So we need to include the branches uh, above this run out. We need to add this one also. So 330 plus 330 plus uh, 160 plus 200 plus 230 and the last one is 170 so total drainage fixture units connected are 1090 1090 we can write here so again we have to check the develop length how much is the develop length since this one is uh, connected from the base point of the drainage system to the top of the roof level this is uh, on to the low roof level so total uh, develop length is 10 feet 20 30 40 50 and 55 so again 55 develop length here and 1090 range fixed units and again you have to check uh, the connected soil stack pipe size you can get uh, that one if you see the video drainage pipe sizing video so uh, we use the table 9-1 again 1090 drainage fixture units and soil stack pipe size is 6 inches and 55 is the develop length so 6 inches with 1090 drainage fixture units 6 inches and 1090 drainage fixture units 1090 is uh, between 960 and 1900 so we'll go for 1900 and develop length is 55 again between 20 and 70 we'll go for 70 higher value there is no 55 so we'll go for 70 and check the pipe size is 4 inches when stack pipe size is 4 inches so we have right 4 inches here so now I'm going to discuss the second example here here you can see that uh, we have uh, four vent stacks represented by A, B, C and D. These are connected to the common vent header. This is a common vent header and then extended to the roof. So we'll start from stack A. You can see here I have uh, divided into different sections. Stack A you can see that uh, fixture units are 150 and develop length is 180. So 150 fixture units, 180 develop length. So we need to check the soil stack pipe size. So soil stack pipe size and then we have to check the vent stack pipe size. And then we will check the header pipe size later. So first we check for the stack A, soil stack pipe size and vent stack pipe size for this section A. So first check the soil stack pipe size using the table uh, 6-3 so we have 150 fixture units 150 fixture units since we know that we have more than three story so 150 fixture units we have to use this column 150 is in between 60 and 500 so we'll go for 500 higher value and we'll check the 
soil stack pipe size is 4 inches so 4 inch so now we have to check the vent stack pipe size so we know that develop length is 180 feet and we know that soil stack pipe size is 4 inches and we know that trench fixture unit connected are 150 so we use this table 9-1 so 180 150 fixture units 180 develop length 150 fixture units uh, 4 inch pipe size 150 fixture units 100 and 200 is here so we'll go for 200 and uh, develop length is 180 is in between 90 and 250 so we'll go for the higher value 250 and check the vent pipe size is 3 inches so vent pipe size is 3 inches so next is A to B this is the vent uh, header section A to B so here we will check the header pipe size now the develop length is uh, now 180 plus 10 more that is 190 so develop length is 190 180 plus 10 this is the 10 feet drainage fixture units connected are same that is 150 same so 150 fixture units and uh, 190 develop length so 150 is again we check the size for the soil stack is again 4 inches so 4 inch pipe size and uh, 150 fixture units and 190 develop length 150 fixture units is in between 100 and 200 and 180 is the develop length is in between 190 is the develop length is between 90 and 250 you'll go for 250 again pipe size is 3 inches so header went pipe size is 3 inches section a to b header pipe size is 3 inches went pipe size so now we'll go for stack b 200 fixture units 290 develop length 200 fixture units, 290 develop length. Now we'll check for soil stack pipe size and one stack pipe size. So 200 uh, drainage fixture units. First check the soil stack pipe by using the table 6-3. So again, more than three story, 200 fixture unit is in between 60 and 500. So we'll go for higher value 500 and check the pipe size is four inches. So pipe size, soil stack is four inches. Now check for the vent stack pipe size so we know the know the soil stack pipe size is 4 inches we know uh, drainage fixture unit 200 and 290 is the develop length now we check the vent stack pipe size so again we use table 9-1 so 4 inches 200 fixture units and 290 uh, develop length so 290 develop length is in between 250 and 900 so we'll go for higher value 900 and check the vent pipe size is 4 inches so this tag b vent pipe size will be 4 inches this vent pipe and then we'll go for header pipe size b to c now we'll check for header pipe size b to c this one so we know that the drainage fixture unit a to b is uh, 150 and this stack b is 200 so 150 plus 200 it will be 350 for the point b to c so you can see here 150 plus 200 that is 350 trench fixed units so now the develop length we can see here uh, at point a to b total develop length was uh, 180 plus 10 that is 190 plus 40 190 plus 40 that is 230 you can see here 190 plus 40 that is 230 so now we check the header pipe size b to c so we know that range fixed unit 350 so first check the uh, soil stack pipe size how much it would be so based on this we have to check uh, header pipe size so 350 if we check the so again in between this and we'll go for higher value 500 4 inches pipe size so 4 inches we have to check uh, develop length 230 and 350 fixture units 4 inches 
350 fixture units is in between them so we'll go for the higher value 500 and develop length is 230 230 is between 180 and 700 we'll go for higher value 700 and check the vent pipe size is 4 inches so the header vent pipe size B to C is 4 inches so now I'm gonna skip uh, B to C uh, C to D B to C is already done so I'm gonna skip C to D and stack uh, C just to save the time so I'll go for the last one stack d 500 fixture units and 270 develop length so 500 fixture units at stack d and 270 develop length first check the soil stack pipe size for 500 fixture units so again 6 stack 3 table 500 fixture units soil stack pipe size is 4 inches 4 inches okay and then uh, we know that develop length is 270 you can see that here develop length 270 so soil stack pipe size is 4 inches 270 develop length and 500 fixture units so 4 inches 500 fixture units and 270 develop length is in between 180 and 700 we'll go for high value 700 and check the vent stack pipe size is 4 inches that is 4 inches you can see here so now the last one is from d to the outlet you can see that from d to the this is the roof level extended up to the roof so for total develop length will be how much that is C to D C to D it was 260 C to D it was 260 plus 40 plus 10 so 260 plus 40 plus 10 that is 310 total develop length and uh, fixture units if you see that uh, here 500 fixture units here you can see that C to D fixture unit, C to D fixture unit which we calculated is 550. So 550 plus 500, it will be 1050 fixture units. So we know that develop length, we know that uh, uh, drainage fixture units. So we can calculate the header, vent header pipe size. So first check uh, uh, the soil stack pipe size, how much it would be on 1050 fixture units using table 6-3. So 1050 fixture unit is in between 500 and 1100. So this value 1100 we will take. So soil stack pipe size will be 5 inches. So 5 inches uh, with uh, 1050 trench fixture units and 310 developed lengths. Let's check the header pipe size. Vent header pipe size. So 5 inches, 1050 that is equal to almost 1100 so 5 inches soil stack pipe size 1100 drainage fixture units and develop length is 310 310 so 310 is in between 200 and 700 so you can you will go for the higher value 700 and check the vent header pipe size is 5 inches 5 inches so you can see that this is the 5 inches so this is how you can do the drainage vent pipe sizing if you have the individual vents or you have the individual or you have the vents that is connected to the common vent header so i hope you guys learned something from this video for more videos keep watching my channel and don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon thank you